What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today as you can probably tell we are doing something a little bit different. Uh, just a few hours ago as you're watching this, Battlefield did just release their short film called Exodus and I thought it would be fun to do a reaction to it because I always watch everyone's reaction and I never really do it myself. So we're going to be doing a live reaction, I'm recording this intro after I've already watched it. But there are a few quick little things that I need to mention before we get into the actual reaction. Now if you don't really give a shit then I'll put uh, timestamps down in the description. And you guys can just skip ahead to the actual start of the reaction. But like I said, there were a few things that I needed to mention first. So I was actually lucky enough to get invited to an early screening of this. Uh, it was about 24 hours before it will have gone live for you guys. And the recording of my reaction was on the live stream. So I recorded this when I first watched it rather than waiting till like the official one has come out. So this was my first reaction. Now, the one that we saw unfortunately had like watermarks all over the screen it was literally like 40 percent of the screen you could barely even see what was going on so if there's anything that i missed throughout it then uh bear with me because i actually haven't seen like a 4k version of it as i'm recording this but i have seen one with just it just has my name written all over it pretty much and they do that just to stop us from obviously if i just recorded that and uploaded it then they can tell that it was me so that's what the watermarks are for uh obviously the one you guys are watching i'll just get the the regular um short film from their channel but when I was recording this reaction that was all I could see so there's probably a few things that I missed I'm sure um and if I did then uh yeah that's that's probably why so a massive thank you to EA for allowing me to get invited to these early reveal events that's three now which I'm not really sure what I do to deserve that but a uh, massive thank you to EA for that and then secondly uh we also learned a few things about some stuff in the trailer that and I don't want to spoil it even though you guys I'm sure have probably already seen it um, but yeah, there was a few things in there that we learned a little bit extra about. So I've got a video going up probably a few hours after this one, just covering all those details that we learned at the earlier reveal event. Cause we kind of got like shown what I'm about to react to. And then there was a few, you know, a bit of extra information in there in a Q and A and stuff. So there will be a video. Yeah. Probably a few hours after this one with all of those details. If you guys are new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe for more Battlefield 2042 content. But with that out of the way, guys, let's uh, edit over to the live reaction of Exodus. All right, here we go. This is really hard to see. I might explain it. I'm sure I'll do an intro to this. Um, <laughs> But there's watermarks all over the screen, so I can barely see what the fuck's going on. But is that a boat? I, I can't really tell what that is. Is that a boat? No, that's a bottle. Calm down, mate. <laughs> I'm so, I've been so excited for this for so long. Been hyping it up for the last like week or two. Okay, that's a boat. I'm, I'm very keen to see this. This is in only like 1080, I think, what I'm watching. There was a notepad, someone on that boat, so that's a notepad. By himself, okay. Hey, a T Rex! No way! Easter egg straight off the bat. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Damn, this looks, even in low quality and there's watermarks everywhere, this looks really good. Damn, is this in Doha? Cause no, I can't. That doesn't make sense. Good. Has the drone. Oh shit! What the hell? I don't really get what's going. On. He's like meeting informant or something. Damn, this looks so real. So they're after the briefcase. Oh shit. Damn, this looks so good. Usually I know what I'm risking my neck for. Usually I don't explain. That voice sounded familiar. Shit. Oh. There you are. I'm probably just tripping, but that voice sounds real familiar. Doink. I wonder if this will be a, a specialist or is, or is this just like a random soldier? Seems important though if he's like having a meeting or something. Wait, what? Is that Pack? Oh, no way! It's Irish and Pack. Holy shit. Boys. 
No way. Was that Irish? Am I tripping? Pretty sure that was... He looked different because he had a beard, but he would be older. That was definitely Pack. He said Pakowski. Yeah, that's him. Holy shit. What the hell? I did not expect that. That is Irish. What the fuck? No way. Irish. Oh, he called him a traitor. Oh, so yeah, he's with the Nopats. But he's American, so... His loyalty's with the refugees, okay. Kind of suits his character, he was like that. Listen. In uh, Battlefield 4. That fucking terrorist will start World War III. Who's Oz? That's what they always say, Pac. Believe that shit if you want to. Man, I can't believe we've got these two. For those who don't know, Pac and uh Irish were in Battlefield 4. Is that his son? Who's that? Nobody. Head back downstairs now. Damn, so Pac must have been fighting with the Americans. And uh, Irish is with the Nopats, okay. That's another specialist, Rao, apparently. America's got an experimental weapon that's about to fall out of the sky at these coordinates in 36 hours. They're desperate to recover their dirty little secret. Oh, shit. Russia gets it first. Where is that? Is that... I think that was Antarctica, maybe. You can't let that maniac get his hands on the coordinates. Hmm. was right. Oz's men will be here any second. Oh, that looks sick. He will stop at nothing to get what he wants. We have civilians on board. We don't have enough manpower. I don't think we have a choice. Head straight to that store. That's a category five, sir. Ah, that's home field advantage. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the part from the little teasers. Okay, so is this dude, is this Oz guy now like against? I'm confused what's going on. I think he's like Shit. turned against him. The deal's off. Yeah, the deal's off. Okay. God damn. They're following him into the storm too. Yeah, so now he's against this Oz guy. How did, that, how did he turn so quick? What the hell? <laughs> Oh shit, they're full boarding it. Wow, that looks so good. Mate, this looks unreal. I know this isn't like gameplay or anything. It's probably done in engine looking at it, but yeah, not gameplay. So it's obviously going to look good, but still kind of baffles me how good they can make stuff look. That looks literally real. And this is in like shit quality what I'm watching that. Oh, he's got a rocket launcher. And he dropped it. Rip. Did he jump in the water? Or was that... What the hell's going on? Wait, he did not jump off that top of that. Surely... <laughs> What the hell? I we were on the same yeah, I thought they were on the same. Oh no, he's got his son. Is that a specialist too? Oh shit, he gave it up. No shot. What? No way. They killed his kid. No way. Oh, hang on. What? No, they didn't. Oh, it's Pac. You legend. Oh, shit. 
Oh, well, Pack's dead. Rip. Holy shit. Get him. Oh, that looks absolutely beautiful. Holy shit. I hope they look like that when you take them down in game. Holy shit. And they're out of the storm. I assume it's coming to the end. I don't know how long this is going to go for. Damn, Pack's dead. Although, to be honest, I kind of just assumed he was dead anyway, so... <laughs> Damn. Message sent. What? Oh, what? So these two were... Oh, shit. Put a call out to any notepad who will listen. 36 hours to Get ready to fight. Damn. So I guess this is how it begins. Let me just pause that. So I guess that's yeah, I guess this is how the this war begins, kind of. Although it seemed like it had already started a little bit, but I'm confused. I thought Irish was working with that. Oz guy. I don't even know who that is. Do we are we meant to know who Oz is? I'm not really I'm not really sure. But I thought they were working together at the start, and I think they were, and then they just like turned on each other straight away. So I'm guessing this Oz dude, he was a no pat too. Kinda confused. I'm sure we'll uh we'll find out more about that. But that was sick. That was um I assume it's done in engine because it kinda looks the same as like the the trailer, like the reveal trailer and stuff. Although it looks better than that, so maybe not. But I assume this is just like a like the beginning of the war, and so it said 36 hours until I think it's I think he said until Doha. So that's where the war must begin in Doha, and they've got to hunt down that like satellite or whatever. That reminded me a lot. Um, any of you Star Wars fans out there, they did the Star Wars Squadrons. They did like a sort of a short film thing as well. And it was really similar to that. It kind of just set up the story a little bit, which it's kind of weird because this doesn't have a single player campaign. So it's kind of like, this almost is the campaign in a way. <laughs> like we're just getting the story told to us, but I reckon it's a sick way of doing it. And um, yeah, that, that was awesome. I can't believe Irish is back too. Holy shit. It's only 20 odd years. Well, Battlefield 4 was set in 2020, wasn't it? So only 22 years past, I guess it makes sense, but kind of didn't expect anyone to show up from the old games but that was pretty cool i like the way they did that so yeah that's gonna have to do it for this one uh, i'm actually recording this during a uh an early reveal event so i need to get back to that before i miss out on too much they're probably explaining all this right now um but yeah that is going to do it for this one guys and girls if you enjoyed that then uh do consider subscribing and if we find out any more information, then I'll, uh, I'll be sure to make a video on that as well. But thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys out there on the battlefield.